It started out as a plan to replace a wonderful old arena that had been volunteer built about 40, 50 years ago. And it was a, a building that the, the community had a great deal of pride in, but it was coming to the end of its useful life. That simply made the creation of this building even more urgent. All of these partners contributed significantly, not only in terms of energy and time and their own personal commitment, but they, they each came up with significant financial contributions to make this thing work. This is what we built, so it shows that when we put our little things aside and have a goal and look at what we've got, it's impressive. This was the first time in my life and in all my years of working with First Nations organizations that the municipalities and the First Nations got together collectively to work towards something. We were approached by BC Wood, along with our structural engineering partners, to come up with a concept of how you could replace a existing building with a new wood building as compared to steel frame. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons for doing that, carbon sequestering, better sustainability, local use of products, um, but the intent was simply to come up with a prototype and that then became what's now the arena that's in Hazelton. It's a material that is grown in BC, it's harvested in BC, it's sawn, planed, and erected in BC. So it's really a project um, that is built by the community and for the community. So having a building constructed out of the wood that is local was a great decision by the planning committee because that also enabled us to use local contractors, local workers. So there were a number of, of social issues that we felt um, a recreation center like this could help us to address. Kids at risk, youth at risk, um, high rates of um, diabetes, high rates of obesity, high rates of suicide. We focus on ensuring that our children, uh, whether they're the four-year-olds right up to the teenagers, we always want to make sure that they have some activities that can keep them busy uh, so that they're not looking to go in towards booze and drugs. Um, we just want to try and make sure that our children here flourish, whether it's academically or athletically. It has helped a lot of our young athletes be able to participate in sports like hockey and basketball, and it really brings families together. I think the main takeaway uh, from what we see here in the Upper Skeena Rec Centre is that it's absolutely doable for many communities across the province. It is affordable, it creates a place of warmth and welcoming. The effort that went into the original Ken Tremblay Arena was a community effort and this was as well. The effort in the community amongst uh, so many different organizations and the fundraisers, you know, selling baked goods just to try to put money towards this new uh, facility was uh, tremendous and it's a very emotional time. Wake up in the morning, we feel good that we have such a beautiful building. And the second point of this building is it's a result of efforts of all the local people. Being a part of it was just one of the most touching things that I've done and something that I'll be proud of being a part of for the rest of my life. It's quite gorgeous, actually, and everybody says that. I can't believe, how did we live without it? And uh, look on it with hope, which is pretty wonderful.